Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealthTube, and we're visiting with Dr. Rappaport. Dr. Rappaport, I would like to ask you, what are the benefits of ATP for bodybuilders? Well, there is a lot of excitement among bodybuilders regarding NO. NO, nitric oxide, is produced from arginine in vascular endothelial cells, the cells that line up the blood vessels. And NO, once it's produced, it diffuses into the smooth muscle cells, which are perivascular, they are behind the vascular endothelial cells, and they are the ones that produce the vasodilation of the blood vessel. Okay. And that results in an increase in the increase of blood flow, which in, in turn results in the stimulation of uh, disposal of oxygen, nutrients, mm -hmm. mostly glucose, into the exercising muscle, and removal of uh, waste products such as lactic acid and ammonia. Now, of course, you can take NO products directly, uh -huh. such as nitroglycerin, people with uh, unstable angina or other forms right. of heart disease have been using it for a long time. However, ATP, extracellular ATP in the blood, is the major factor that stimulates the synthesis of NO naturally. Oh, naturally. In other words, yeah, in other words, by interacting with its receptor on vascular endothelial cells, ATP induces the activity of NO synthetase. Okay. It synthesizes or catalyzes the synthesis of NO from arginine. And this NO is then producing the vasodilation that brings about the advantage to the muscle, to the skeletal muscle. However, there is one difference between taking NO precursors directly or using ATP. ATP is released from red blood cells only when and where it's needed. So it would act only on the muscle that's hypoxic, that lacks oxygen, or that right. is required, that has a metabolic demand for nutrients, while NO that's taken directly if, would affect any blood vessel, mostly large blood vessels. So we feel that ATP has an advantage over NO, or they could be used together either to complement each other or synergistically. Ironically, NO, or arginine, the precursor for NO, is taken up into vascular endothelial cells also by stimulation of an amino acid transporter. Oh, really? Which is also stimulated by the interaction of insulin and insulin receptor. Okay. So this is, in, an, in a way, also affected by the adenosine in the blood plasma that improves this interaction significantly. So as a, there is also an, an indication that the, the vascular endothelial cells use NO, use arginine, excuse me, preferentially from the outside rather than arginine from the inside for the synthesis of NO. But NO is the big excitement among bodybuilders. We feel that it's not that justified, though there is, there is uh, uh, definitely there is something to it. it as I said before, um, the uh, skeletal muscle, the working skeletal muscle, uses the energy from glycogen for right. fast contraction within millisecond, milliseconds or one thousandth of a second. And this is not related to NO. Now, um, the glycogen is, of course, built up by the uh, stimulation of sugar uptake, which is done by extracellular ATP. So the peak ATP, it's in an oral form, and this can have a, a very significant effect on muscle building. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, peak ATP is acting both with carbohydrates and with arginine, which is the precursor All for right. NO, in both complementing and acting synergistically in uh, producing better muscle function. This is skeletal muscle function. Well, this is great news for bodybuilders. Thank you, Dr. Rappaport. We'll meet again.